when it comes to dating, there's one universal theme, food. And though a great restaurant is tough to beat, there's something kind of romantic about cooking with your date. So I'm joining my good friend Kevin at the Wooden Spoon in Andersonville to take a cooking class and find out if it's first date worthy. My name is Kathy Skutecki and we're at the Wooden Spoon which is a cookware shop and cooking lesson facility in Andersonville. I think cooking for anybody, especially if it's someone you care about, is very romantic. It's a very personal thing, kind of putting your heart on a plate, and I think that's that's a nice thing to do for somebody. Hey, Allie. Hey, Kevin. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm excited to cook. I know. I can't cook, though. Can you? Uh, no. My specialty is cereal, and I, I doubt we're doing that here. We, I've never made cereal with beer before, so I <laughs> really doubt we're doing that here. But I'm ready. Not. All right, well, let's do it. I have this pretty little apron for you. Please put it on there. I brought the beer. We're ready to go. Let's do this. Tonight, Allie and Kevin will be making dinner for each other. It's uh, cooking with beer is the topic tonight, and beer will be in every dish from the appetizer to the dessert. There will be Irish stout fondue. We're doing a Belgian beer carbonade, which is a chicken dish, and a vanilla porter syrup over roasted pears. It'll be a really good time. Introduce yourself to your neighbors. Read your recipe. For the most part, if it's in a ramekin or a dish, I've measured it. Not measured. Everybody good? All right, let's go. I do like that uh, this is how our date starts. With knives and beer. That's a good start to any night. Four cups, yeah. one and a half diameter red skin potatoes. I think my cooking is going to get better the more I drink. <laughs> I don't think I did this right. Yeah, I don't think you did either. I don't really like cauliflower, so I don't cut it <laughs> often. Right. Well, see, this makes a good first date experience, because if you're on a date with someone, you learn about what foods they don't like. Yes, don't yes. Don't anything. I don't like much. My phone's ringing. Is that rude? Did that you better not be another guy. It's one of my exes. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh, well, can I open that for you? Oh, you sure can. No, you sure can. <laughs> Couples classes are fun because they have interaction amongst themselves, but usually if it's a really good group, they open themselves to the people around them. It's just a big fun night, actually, especially if they drink a lot. You guys have been together for seven months. What did you do on your first date? We went to a bar. We went to a bar. And, and he didn't feed me, so I got drunk. It's true. You're such a romantic. Right? I used to hate cooking, but I realized the reason I didn't like it is because I wasn't drinking when I was cooking. All right, now my friend, Kathy, you've opened my eyes. I feel like this is a really good first date. What do you What do you guys think? I think you'd really get to see someone for who they were. I mean, I think test is the best uh, the best <laughs> adjective I could have chosen. I mean, either you succeed or you fail. We have been learning a lot at our cooking class, especially how to dice an onion. I think it would be a good first date spot because you don't have to talk the whole time. You can talk to other people. And look around. If it doesn't work out, there's a bunch of other dudes here. You know? You have lots of options. Work out? She was talking. Oh, uh, no, I wasn't talking about you. I was, I was just saying in general. No, you are great. I'm going to take off. Maybe it's time to move on from mingling before it gets us in trouble. So let's start cooking. What did it say we were supposed to do? No. How do you know when something's simmered? Then we put in... Um, stout? I think that's when you have to take a drink of your beer. Apple, apple juice. juice. But how much apple juice? No, not in here. Why not in there? Oh! <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, Kathy, we have issues. Okay, I think Trouble's gonna find us wherever we go. What was that? <laughs> I apologize. Volunteers, we're, we don't want to be solely responsible for people getting sick here. We need help. Oh boy, it's clear we need Kathy to give us a little push to get us back on track. Don't you think it's great off the burnt pieces? Let's see, look at that. That looks perfect. Right? Why didn't I meet you like five years ago? <laughs> Taste it, add a little salt. Taste it again. You can always add more salt. Great. If you mess up, it's okay. You can fix your failures. But it's the taste test that will truly determine whether or not we're failures. Time to taste the fruits of our labor. As you can see, my date has a larger portion than I do. <laughs> mm. That's pretty awesome. The noodles are fantastic. I like the salad. We made this. The fantastically, perfectly grilled bread. Yeah. Mm. yeah. It's not hard at all. That's good, man. If you take an empty shell, you can use it as almost like a, a little oh. hair tonic. Wow. Yeah. That's genius. Those are really good. Nice job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you that well. So what do you think? 
Loved it. It would definitely be a good first date. Definitely. We really had a good time with it. I think we're going to do it again. I've been cooking for like three months of my entire life, so this is a, this is a good crash course because I don't know much, so I'm, I'm happy. You guys did really good. Good job. Yeah. Thank you, Captain. It's safe to say that cooking with someone is better than doing it alone. And on a date, the proof is in the pudding. Or beer. I have to say, that was a pretty good first fake date. I totally agree. I've never had a fake date before. But I this know, was, me either. This was awesome. You know, maybe that's why I've been so unsuccessful. Because you need fake dates. I need a lot more fake dates yeah, in my life. Yeah, And this is the place to do it, man. We drank a lot of beer, ate a lot of food, we burned some toast. It's perfect. I love it. Me Cheers. Too. Cheers.